The benefits to me for reading are just gaining a, a better knowledge of the world. And reading allows you to do anything you want to do. Um, if you want to learn a new craft or a new hobby or a new job, you can come to the library and get information on that and teach yourself. I'm Chris Reddig. I'm a reference librarian at the Lake County Public Library in Maryville. The number of items we have available for checkout nears one million items system-wide. We do have a collection of reference material that cannot be checked out because we use it so frequently, but basically everything else in the library circulates, including magazines now. We did recently in this past year achieve a new level of success. Uh, we have circulated two million items for the first time. To obtain a library card with our system, you need to have proof of your address and preferably a photo ID of that. Um, and then you just need to fill out a pretty simple form. You get the card that day. Your privileges are limited for a couple of weeks until we verify your address, and after that you can check out pretty much as many books as you want. This branch has uh, been in existence since uh, early 80s, I believe. We have um, the main collection is here, the main reference collection is here. We are sort of a backup for our branch libraries also, so that if they don't have a certain material, they can call us and we can look something up for them. Uh, it contains three different floors, a lot of people don't know that, if they come in for one thing all the time. There is an upper level where the fiction and biographies and nonfiction are, the main level where you walk into the building where circulation and reference are, also periodicals and the computer lab, and the lower level which contains audiovisual and the children's department. A lot of people walk in, especially in this building, and are just totally overwhelmed. Um, generally, you gravitate toward the library catalog. Now, this library is new enough that we've never actually had a card catalog with cards in it. We've always been automated in some way. Right now, our system is called Dynex or Webpack. You could sit down at one of those and look up basically all of the material in the library. Uh, books, magazines, videos, etc. I don't know why anyone would go to a video store <laughs> anymore. You can come to the library and get it for free. And we have the bestsellers. We may not have 20 copies of the newest releases, but we also have a much wider variety. When I go to the video store, I can never find older movies. They seem to just have disappeared. We have the older films, we have the newer films, we have them on VHS, we have them on DVD now. Uh, in addition to videos, audio cassettes and CDs, and not just the popular music, but also folk music, music from other countries that people might be interested in, music for holidays. People come here for Halloween music all the time around October. Um, also downstairs in audiovisual are books on tape. The library has become very automated and in response to that we've begun to offer classes in how to use those resources. At any time if you need help while you're in the library we'll be happy to help you individually. But if you wanted to come to one of our classes we offer a variety of classes starting out very basically with how to use a mouse. It's called Meet the Mouse and that is all you do. <laughs> you learn what you can do with a mouse. How do you move it? How do you control it? How do you click on different things? It's sort of also an introduction to the internet. Beyond that is a Windows class which deals with how to create files, save files, get around the Windows operating system. And then the Navigating the Net class which deals with again basic navigation of the internet. People don't take re reading fiction seriously enough <laughs> you ask me. I think it's an extremely important part of life. You need to get a little escape from reality sometimes. And uh, some people like to read because they are transported to another country or another land. Other people really like to get into the characters. They want to, it's sort of like meeting a new person and you get to know them and their trials and tribulations. Other people are really plot oriented and they want a good story and they want maybe a mystery where they, where they can solve it themselves or try to beat the detective to the answer. And it's just a great escape. Um, it gives you a chance to wind down and, uh, and it doesn't, it's free, it doesn't cost anything.